Hey everybody, this is Johnny D from Movid Studios and we're going to go through a quick tutorial on how to export for YouTube from Sony Vegas Pro. Now I get a lot of questions about what settings do I use and everything and I by far do not have a uh, perfect solution I don't think. There might be better ones out there but I'll show you what we do. At the same time I'm going to walk through this and show you how to get it out of Vegas once you're done editing as well. So the first thing you want to do is you want to open up your job whatever the job is that you might be working on or whatever now that it's open you're going to go to render it that's what this is called it's file render as anytime you want to export basically out of Sony Vegas you're going to want to use the file render as now there is an export setting but those are for uh, another step in editing a lot of the times those are usually used for whenever you want to export um, the file markers or anything like that in order to take it into another program and keep on working on it but when you're finished with it in Sony Vegas Pro you're going to use the file render as as your options now one of the things you want to keep in mind is what is the size of your project what is the size that you've been doing now if you've been doing this right from the very beginning when you set up your project um, you would have set up you know the size that you want to do it in um, and for instance in this job I have it as 1280 by 720 which is you know basically the lowest level of HD which is great because we can control the file size a little better um, than if we go 1920 by 1080 you by all means can go 1920 by 1080 alright here's my options everything on my timeline if it's there to be rendered if I want to do it all and I have it all taken care of and it's all laid out the way I want it to then I can just simply go to file render as and just render it but if I have a piece of footage let's say off it to the side here and I'm sitting here working on this part and I don't want to delete this for whatever reason I'm saving it for later or whatever then I will need to highlight or do my in and out I and O on the keyboard uh, do my loop region highlight of just that area so I'm going to bring it in and just say I just want to render this part and this that part and when you go to the render as there's an option to choose to only render the looped region but for me on this project uh, it's fine doesn't matter I want everything on my timeline to be done so what I'll do is I'll go to file render as now you're going to get a whole bunch of options here um, you're going to have every kind of thing that uh, you can imagine which is what's great about Sony Vegas what I use for YouTube is Windows Media Video and the reason I use Windows Media Video is it creates a good quality at a pretty low so file size I've had sometimes better luck with an H.264 codec um, but I like the Windows Media file because it's kinda universal and it's a decent size and a good quality now what you do is you create your own but what we're gonna look at is if you scroll down the presets there's a six megabyte per second HD 720 30p video that's the one you want to use now what I'll do is I'm going to customize that template I'm going to look at each of the tabs across the bottom audio is fine you can leave that the way it is on the video we're going to use the Windows Media Video 9 high definition 1280 by 720 it's a one pixel aspect ratio so it's square my frame rate is 29.97 you're going to set it to what it is for you. If you're shot and edited in 23.967, you want to use that, depending on what it is. Um, you're going to be able to adjust this video smoothness. I like it a little sharper than anything, so I usually push it up. Um, the bit rate is kind of important. Now, you can change this bit rate. For a long time, I used a 3 meg bit rate. In other words, I just changed this to 3. But the problem I found with that, the 6 meg just looks better. But the lower the bit rate you go, the smaller the file size. So if you have a large project, you might want to take it down just a little bit. But the 6 meg seems to work really well for me. Index and summary, you can just forget about right now unless you want to fill it in. And for the project, you're going to use these right here. But for me, I like to just go ahead and set these up. At, um, well, I'm not doing stereoscopic 3D, but I like to go ahead and set these up as best. You know, anytime that you got this option, I just go ahead and do it in case I forget that something is not set right on my job it'll automatically render this way now when you're done what you're going to do is you're going to rename this after you save it so you know for me I'm going to name it Movid for Movid Studios and this is actually what I want to do is I want to keep all that information so I'm just going to put Movid in front of it 
6 meg HD 720x30p. This will allow me to identify this. You hit the save button and it keeps it here so that anytime I do another job, I know that my, those are the settings that I set and I can come back to it. So once you're done, you're going to come back and you're going to choose your Movid 6 megabit HD or whichever way you named it. And you're going to then go up to the top and you're going to choose where, what folder you want to put it in. Hit save. Give it a name on what you want it to be and you're going to hit render. When you hit render it's going to start running and it's going to work hopefully great. So after you're done you're going to have it rendered out and you're going to take you always want to double check it. You want to play it and make mm -hmm. sure it's okay and it looks good. Once it's done then you're going to take that and you're just going to go to your YouTube account click upload and that's it really. Uh, YouTube will treat it very well and uh, it'll look really good when it's done. And the great thing about it is uh, you'll be able to expand it because it is HD. You'll be able to expand it full size at, at 1280 without sacrificing that much quality at all. So you'll have a really nice looking video and that can be taken care of. So I hope this helps. But that's it. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.